Okay, here we go. Just going to get this set up real quick. Share this to a few places. Hey, hey, thanks for joining in. Just getting this set up and shared to a few places. Gonna try out this new Hummer on console mods here. It's the GWC G1. Has a mashup of a few different versions of Hummer on there. But yeah, just gonna go for a little cruise and hang out here on TMB Trails. Hope everyone has been enjoying the new mods on console here. We've had so many new ones lately. Let's get this going here. Enough of me just sharing it to a bunch of groups. Here we go. All right. So, got the GWC G1 here. It is from uh, the creator Glitchworks. It's his second ever custom mod. He has a whole bunch of tweaks uh, on his uh, other versions, like on PC, he has all kinds of different tweaks for the console, or for the base game vehicles, but this is his first true fully custom mod along with his generic mud truck. The generic mud truck was his very first one. This is his, his uh, second one. Sorry, just get my laptop just died. I had to plug it in. <laughs> yeah, I also have the Invalid Redneck Desert Crawler, the, the CCM uh, KJ68, which is an awesome old school, like military looking crawler, and the crazy MK, CK, uh, MK63 APC 6x6 Rhinox. All kinds of fun mods, but I'm going to take this Hummer out and try it out. I set up a few different versions with just like the slanted cat back 
then they have the full square, full like uh, more full bodied version or the completely stock version with no doors and nothing on the back and you can see a lifted one with roof supplies and everything uh, back there in the corner so there's plenty of options that you can do with this console mod and uh, from when I drove it for a little while earlier it was pretty capable off-road so let's just cruise around and have some fun Actually, you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna go around with a completely stock version first for a few minutes, and then I'll take out this more fully customized version out. I always like doing that if I can bring out uh, the stock version and go with that first, and then I'll have some fun with this real one that's actually been upgraded, has a better gearbox and everything. Yeah, it, definitely a little rough around the edges. Um, I mean, mainly that in some ways just from uh, the intentional, like, uh, worn paint look. Um, and it does not have an interior yet or a finished interior that is coming. Uh, the creator will uh, finish that through updates in the future. But um, let's jump in the uh, regular version the completely stock version here and uh, I'll cruise around in this for a little bit and then I'll jump back into the upgraded version so we can see how that handles in uh, comparison so let's take the completely stock GWC G1 out on TMB trails now Glitchworks does get uh, bragging rights for having the very first Hummer H1 on consoles, which is exciting for him. Um, but we do have another Hummer H1 on the way uh, from Delta Gaming. Iceberg 101 also has one on the way, which is getting released on PC this coming Friday. And then it'll be submitted for console approval at the same time and hopefully should be available sooner rather than later. Uh, it shouldn't have any problem getting through the approval process considering this one got through the approval process and Delta Gaming already has uh, another uh, console friendly version of it ready. So it, it's all ready to go. Sorry, I was having trouble with my laptop. It wouldn't sign in. I'm trying to get the live chat up here. But here we go. All right. Vertical hill climb test right next to the garage. Oh, yeah. No problem. Completely stock again.
Yeah, even the little stock version does very well off-road. Um, the lower ride height and small tires are limiting it a little bit, um, but nothing wrong with that. It's still getting along very well. It's just so nice to actually have a Hummer H1 on consoles, finally. Yeah, even completely stock, it's capable. I'm excited to try out the upgraded version with a proper off-road gearbox, a lift kit, and bigger tires. It's just getting high centered on rocks and angles that uh, aren't quite conducive to the low ride height is the only thing holding it back so far. Yeah, we got a Hummer H1 on consoles, finally. It's been a long time coming. It's been one of the most requested mods to have on consoles, and it's just so exciting to finally have it. <laughs> yeah, getting high centered there. Can't get over that angle. Well, I wanted to turn right, go right. And it does not have an interior view yet, um, unfortunately, um, but that is something I believe the creator has noted on mod.io and it will come out with another updated version of it that will eventually include a complete interior and so on. Yeah, even this stock version is very capable. It's climbing around here on these trails. And then I say that and I get completely high centered. I don't think any wheel's touching right now. <laughs> Oh, there she goes. Oh, 
All right. That's enough of the low ride height and small tires. Let's jump back into the other one that is fully upgraded. And I have it with uh, max lift kit, max engine, fully upgraded, like I said. Let's jump back into that black one up in the front there. Yeah, so I've got that one uh, fully upgraded with the black over there, and then I have one with like the repair supplies and everything. Slightly different version right there, so let's jump in there. This should be a much more capable setup having the full lift kit and everything. Hey there, Matt Woods. What's going on? Where about on the map was I? Um, I was right down here. So I start out at the garage here. I went up to the road and took a left, came down here to this little trailhead right here, and then I came down this way, and then I went up through here. So I was probably, yeah, I was I was right up in here when uh, when I just hit my little impasse back there. Um, but yeah, right down here on this little trail system through here. So much fun. I absolutely love this massive uh, spine that climbs all the way up through here. But I absolutely love TMB trails. Can't get enough of this map. Yeah, let's take a fully upgraded version out for a spin. See how it does. Fuel consumption it hasn't been too bad. Uh, it's got a 100 liter tank, and uh, this is the fully upgraded engine that I'm driving right now, and max it's burning eight liters a minute. Yeah, I got the max engine. Got the full engine on it, got the off-road gearbox. I uh, got the lifted suspension. This droopy flex suspension is weird. I do have a setup with that. It sits so low. So I'm not sure how that's going to be good for crawling, but we'll see. I'm reserving any judgment until I actually try it. It has a host of, you know, tire options and stuff. But fairly basic for the most part. Yeah, let's cruise around in this. What's going on, WHD trucking? My dude. How you doing, Kev? There you go. Sorry, I was trying to get the daylight going again so it wasn't so dark. Yeah, I love this thing. It just looks so good. It's so nice actually having a Hummer on consoles, finally. Oh, I'm doing all right, man. Uh, did a full day of disc golf yesterday. Uh, came home and we had to take our cat to the emergency vet, so that was... Uh, made it for a rough night but he's back home now and doing well so that's some peace of mind got him taken care of so he's all set and uh, other than that I, I got a little bit of brown tail moth rash uh, out on the disc golf course yesterday so that's a little bit of a bummer but it is what it is
Yeah, I'll go back through that same section that I went through with uh, the stock version just so we can see a difference in how it handles. And then I'll go to a, a different section of the map. Yeah, so far very capable. It's got a lot more power and the taller ride height and larger tires definitely make a big difference. I bet this thing will dominate in like Michigan and Alaska. I'm pretty sure it has chain tires as an option too, I can't remember. I appreciate that, uh, Rebel. Uh, that's, that's very nice of you. Oh yeah, the Grand Hero will be a lot of fun on this trail, Matt. That'd be so much fun. That's such, uh, that is a really fun scout that I almost never use simply just because of the RAM limit issue. Um, like I can only activate so many mods on my PlayStation 4 here, so. Making the best of it. Luckily this uh, GWC G1 doesn't use too much RAM, which is nice. I think the largest RAM usage mod I had activated might be the Desert Crawler or uh, Either the Desert Crawler or the CCM mod, the CCM KJ68 is not heavy on the RAM, but they, they just use more than some of the other mods I had activated. Yeah, just staying in automatic, this thing is having no issues getting through here. It's actually a lot smoother, like I said, with the taller ride height and the larger tires. Okay, so it is only mud tires. Thank you for confirming that, Kevin. Yeah, for only his second mod ever, uh, Glitchworks really did a great job with this. So much fun to actually have a H1 on consoles. I know I keep saying that, but it's true. Yeah, getting right up over that with so much more ease than it did the first time. making it look easy. Hey, Ghetto Pirate, what's going on? The OG returns. Oh, what we got here? Weird angle. Find the grip. There we go. Yeah, <laughs> this spot right here is where I got completely high centered and no tire was touching and now I just crawled right over it with no issue whatsoever. But like I said, that was the completely stock version so can't really hate on it. Oh yeah. Yeah, this is where I got stopped last time. I had to recover and then move to this one. Made it up with really no issue at all. It's a great little crawler. It's a little stiff and uh, bulky, but there's nothing wrong with that. I am interested in trying out that droopy crawler suspension, though. I'm trying to see where the hell the trail is. Sometimes you lose it around the rocks on these. And Pixel Monkey is so mean with his maps where he just makes all these quick cutbacks and everything. Uh, okay. I don't know what the hell happened right there. <laughs> yeah, that'd be fun. 
Oh, boosted. Oh, boosted GT. Oh, shit. That's hilarious. Oh, getting a little sketchy. I didn't know what I was driving into. I just drove into that way too fast. Yeah, I hope he makes a it, an actual functioning interior on this too. It, this mod definitely deserves to have one. Um, but hey, I'll take not having an interior just to have it on consoles. That's pretty awesome in my opinion. It's very exciting. The first ever Hummer H1 on consoles for SnowRunner. We always loved it. It was one of the most used trucks, uh, or scouts I should say, on... Uh, Mud Runner. Everyone always loved using that on consoles, where we didn't have mods on console for Mud Runner. Uh, so to finally have a Hummer H1 in our hands again is so satisfying. I know the developers uh, enjoy putting new and different vehicles into the game when they put the Hummer H2 to be an updated uh, version of the Hummer on, so we still had a Hummer in the game, but at the same time, just who actually likes a Hummer H2? Is there anyone in the world that actually likes Hummer H2s? What a crawler, holy crap. I thought I was gonna be stuck right there, but it just forced its way up and over. Yeah, this thing's a little beast. Fuck that one up. <laughs> That's one way to winch yourself back over. I didn't expect to actually flip <laughs> back over. I was trying to just get an angle so I could flip myself over on my side. But I'll take a full backflip to get back on my wheels. Why not? That's hilarious. This game is so silly sometimes. Yeah, has anyone else tried this thing out yet? Because I'm, I'm enjoying it so far. I mean, it's not exactly the best looking mod, but it's definitely so much fun.
There we go. Come on. Come on. Come on. Yeah, this thing's a little beast on the trails as long as you can kind of keep it in a straight line. It gets a little bit squirrely occasionally, but for the most part, it handles itself really well. I, I, like we've been talking about, I do look forward to when we actually get a functioning interior. That will really help complete this mod and make it a lot more enjoyable. But in the meantime, just being able to have it on consoles uh, at this point is very much a win for everyone here on consoles. And within about two or three weeks we should also have another Hummer H1 on consoles. There's another one coming from uh, Delta Gaming. Uh, Iceberg 101 is releasing his own Hummer H1. It's called the Delta Patriot. Um, that's getting released next Friday on PC. And then uh, that is a true Hummer H1 on PC. And he has a console-friendly version called the Delta Patriot that is being released at the same time on mod.io and submitted for console approval. Um, it's at, well, not the same time. It, I believe he said in his video it's going to be released a couple days after the Hummer H1 is released on PC so that any feedback can be given and any changes might need to be made uh, once more people get, get their hands on it. Um, but within a week of that being released on PC, the console friendly version will be released and then it'll be submitted at that time for approval by the developers. And then hopefully within a few weeks of that, we'll have it on consoles as well. But this will be great for the meantime, holding us over and gives us a taste of what a Hummer H1 on console can finally be like. But truly looking forward to the creme de la creme that is Delta Gaming and the high quality mods that he puts out. Because um, it has a built in radar, it has a lot more visual attachments and everything. Um, so it'll just be another great option on top of having this GWC G1 on consoles. So at that point we'll have two H1s on consoles which will be very exciting. Take care, Rebel. Thanks for hanging out, buddy. There we go. So that was a decent little trail crawl for about 10 minutes or so. <coughs> and used about half the tank. That's not bad. There we go. Refuel. We're up here at the very top of the hill climb at the top of the uh, sand dune desert area. So you might as well do a neutral drop roll-in, because that's what you do here. See how far we can launch this thing. Down the, the hill climb. For those that don't know, there is basically a sand dune ramp down at the bottom. So you just let it go down in neutral, and it'll go faster than it would at top speed in automatic. So get it going in automatic. Drop it in neutral and let gravity do the work. <laughs> uh, it's so satisfying. Oh. Oof, trash the suspension. But we're on all fours. 
There goes the gas. I got no, or I do have repair points. Or it's just the wheel, though. <clears throat> well, that's a dead man right there. Unless I can get up back to the top of the hill climb without, before I run out of fuel, we'll see. Should be able to make it, <clears throat> I think. You never knew this was here, Cav? Holy cow. Yeah, the sand dune section here in the TMB trails is a lot of fun. And then it has this massive hill climb, and you can essentially double it as a ramp. <clears throat> there we go, fully repaired. And a, f and a refuel station right here at the top, too, makes it so the fun can just continue rolling. There is a very much steeper hill climb behind me on that side. Um, if I make it through this uh, again, I'll, uh, I'll do that. But yeah, just drop it in neutral. Let gravity do the work, and you can just launch vehicles much, much further than you're ever used to in these SnowRunner games. Just getting air in general is kind of so foreign to us in these games, but to actually have an opportunity to do jumps and stuff is, is a, f a fun and welcome addition. <laughs> and I can just sit here like a little kid and do this stupid crap all day. Let's see if it can make it up the steeper hill climb with a broken suspension. on this thing is so overpowered. Oh my god. <laughs> it's just making it look easy. This hill climb will just stop most other vehicles in its tracks, but the, the, the grip rating on these tires must be super overpowered, because there's no way it should have just gotten up that, that fast and that easy. There we go. Fully repaired. Let's do it one more time. But this time I'm going to show you the difference of what happens, because I'm holding the gas down this time, and I'm not going to go nearly as far. See if you're holding down the gas. That's all you get. So that's why you put it in neutral, and you just roll down and let gravity do the work for you. Let's uh, switch it up a little bit, and I'm going to grab a different vehicle and uh, take this to a different section of the map, because there's a specific trail I'd really like to crawl. Uh, it's one of my favorite trails, and I just like to bring all the vehicles that I really enjoy there to test them out to see how they can handle it. It's up at the north part of the map near the uh, fuel station, and 
watchtower up there. On road, it's pretty fast. I'll give it that. So it's a capable scout if you're looking for something for the base game and just going around and clearing watchtowers and stuff. It'd be a fun little rig. It does have a trailer hitch on the back of it, so. This is why I love these maps. The TMB trails, and, uh, Badlands, just everything from Pixel Monkey is just so intricate and well designed. They're such fun maps. Take care, Kevin. Have a good one. Thanks for hanging out, my, my dude. Hey, hey there, Jan. What's going on, dude? Thanks for joining back in the stream. Weekend's going pretty well. <coughs> oh, God. <coughs> really excited to try out this Hummer H1. <coughs> oh, God. The marijuana got me. <coughs> oh, boy. <coughs> yeah, I'm, I'm climbing up to the top uh, up here. This is ultimately where I plan to get up here. It's just a, a bunch of switchback roads that bring you up there. Uh, for those that don't know, there's a double rock arch over this way, which actually might be pretty fun. Actually, I'm gonna do that. I haven't done that in a while. I'll, I'll try and see if this thing will climb the double rock arch, and then I'll go up there to the other place. Anyone remember when the garage used to be right here? <laughs> Before it was moved? If I had to guess, this thing shouldn't have any problem getting up over the rock arch considering the uh, overpowered grip on the tires. I think I go to the right. Yeah, going to the left brings you down into the valley. And going up to the right here brings you to the double rock arch. Got 
God, these trails switch back so fast sometimes it's hard to keep track of where you're driving. makes it so tricky and if you make any mistake especially the wrong direction you just fall off and roll down a cliff side and it can happen so fast and it's so steep like look at that drop off on the left <laughs> that's why I love these maps I wish more uh, of the terrain in the base games were a lot more like this uh, maybe we'll get stuff like that in uh, the year to come with the year two DLC on the way. Uh, it'll be interesting to see what the new maps and locations are going to be like. Um, if anything's a hint of what's to come is that first truck DLC pack, the Tatra DLC. That uh, is a European truck manufacturer, so that could be a sign of what's to come with uh, the future DLCs and the regions where we have four more phases of DLC coming out from the developers. So. Hopefully, maybe we'll get some European regions, or maybe something else, maybe something like South America, or like anything, you know, really mix it up. Here we go, there's the rock arch over there, the double arch. You can climb up over that if you have a truck capable of doing it. Let's see if this is un in that category. I'm not too stoned to mess it up. Here we go. Coming up on the rock arch over here. Let's see if this can climb up and over. So you can see the arch up here on my left. Right in front of me. I'll show you where it is on the map real quick. Okay, so I'm up here in the top left corner, right above the sand dune, and the garage is all the way back here. So it's essentially the other corner, all the way away from the garage, right up here. Let's see if this thing can climb up and over. Ugh. We'll mess this up. can't believe it didn't just fall off right there. Like legitimately cannot believe it didn't just fall off right there.
There we go. There we go. Nice. All right. It is a capable crawler, officially. Single do it. Definitely had, I think it's helped a lot by some overpowered tires. It seems like the grip is a little bit more than you would definitely find with some other vehicles, but there's nothing wrong with that. And the Hummer's supposed to be a very good off-road vehicle anyway, so it just makes sense. Yeah, these uh, rock arch features that you get to climb over are so much fun, and they really test you uh, as far as being able to drive and get yourself up and over it. Super technical climbing. Hey there, Christian. Yeah, yeah, I hear you, buddy. Yeah, and that new uh, 1700 L4, uh, 2017 L400 is pretty sweet. Hey, Jason Manning, what's going on, my friend? Yeah, for the second mod, this really is amazing. I mean, I can't really, like, any gripe I have with it is just, like, minimal. The simple fact we have a Hummer H1 is really all that matters. And I can't really say anything because I've never even tried to mod in my life. So I can't imagine the amount of time and effort that was put into making this because the model really is nice. It's just, in my opinion, the paint job uh, doesn't do it any justice with, like, I like the worn idea of the feature. Um, it just doesn't exactly look the best. But again, it's just minimal gripes. It's, it's a very, very capable off-road rig so far. I mean, I've been driving it around here for probably about an hour or so and truly enjoying every second of it. I'm actually surprised at how much grip the tires have, but I'm not mad at it. <laughs> All right, let's see if I can get down this other side. Like, it's pretty straightforward getting uh, down the other side of this rock arch. Um, but the very ending of it is so stupid and tricky that it's really hard to get off the very end without messing it up. Oh shit, oh shit, didn't want to go that far left, or right, shit. Am I high centered? Am I completely high centered right now? <laughs> It's finding grip on the left side over here. Oh, shit. Oh, careful. Oh, God. No winch. Haha, -ha, sucker. Now, this part right here is what I was talking about. Like, <clears throat> this ending part is so just weird. Like, I've never really found an easy way to just drive off this on this end over here. Like, getting onto that rock in front of me without, like, uh, having the ass come over you uh, from the back. It's just so weird. Let's see if we can get across this. See what I mean? It's like the full length of the truck. I see, like, the nose just buries down in.
Oh, 99%, man. That's almost always how it works out. Like, I get right over to the other end, and then it just... Ugh. Just getting across that last part is just so, so tricky. Oh, well. <laughs> hey, I'll give it this. It keeps ending up back on its wheels. I'm not sure if it can attach to these kind of trailers, but I'm going to try just for shits and giggles. Because if I can repair myself, I don't have to recover. And I just happen to land next to a trailer. Oh, no way. I thought it was just going to be scout trailers, but alright. That's hilarious that I fell down right next to a fuel trailer and repair trailer. I mean, that is just hilarious. What's this purple square on the ground? That's weird. Well, I guess since I repaired it, I'm going to keep driving it instead of recovering. I was ready to recover there. That's why I was just driving it like an idiot and crashing down the hill, but might as well keep going if it can. Low, low. Oh, shit, I was reading the chat. <laughs> uh, you talking about uh, up here, Jason? Are you talking about this old garage location? Or are you talking about the original uh, garage location up here? Are you talking about this waterfall? The other rock waterfall? The one by the bridge? Or this one here by Recover Bill's truck? By Bill's truck, okay. So like come up to the left over here? Like, oh, oh, so like this waterfall, this water feature here? Okay.
Oh no. Hey Delta Gaming, what's going on? Appreciate you stopping by, my friend. I was watching some of your modding video uh, when you streamed yesterday. That was fun to watch your process. Enjoying the GWC G1 so far, but definitely looking forward to the Delta Patriot coming very soon. I'm excited for you to finally get that one released to the public, buddy. I know you put a lot of work into that. Uh, for th those that don't know, Delta Gaming is Iceberg 101, um, and that is the creator of mods like the Delta Pickup and uh, the DND Striker, the DND Taco Pro, and so on. The Delta Hercules, which is uh, in recheck for folks that might be wondering where that is. The Delta is uh, Hercules is in recheck and just got updated and has been submitted for reapproval. So hopefully the developers can get that one back into our hands early next week. And then for those of you on PC, next Friday, uh, Delta Gaming will be releasing his Hummer H1 on PC, which is very exciting. Oh, absolutely. I'm, I'm excited to use this as like the first Hummer H1 on consoles. It's cool to have, but I cannot wait to get my hands on the Patriot, my friend. Having the active radar in it, all the different customization options. Man, I just did a circle and came back to the same place I was at. I literally just did a circle. <laughs> I'm just gonna recover this. I feel like switching it up. I'm gonna do something a little different here. So I get for reading the chat while driving. Get all droopy. Yeah, I wanted to come up here. I'm gonna do the uh, other rock arch just because I had thought of it. Yeah, this also has a built-in radar. You got the dish right on top here. 
scans the area. And then it opens up the map, just like a watchtower would. And that's one exciting feature I'm really, really looking forward to having with the Delta Patriot when that makes it to console. Yeah, I want to try this this uh, out and bring a Hummer up to a, a couple different locations. Let's see if both of those will fit on here. I don't know. That uh, six by six is long as shit. Nice. <laughs> I'm actually going to bring these ones all the way up to the top of the map. And then I have another set that I'm going to bring to uh, the rock arch there. And I was reading the comments while driving again. I, I just keep doing that and then I drive off the road or into a tree. There we go. At least I didn't flip over. I thought for a second there that I was going to tip over. That was sucked. But again, I, I, I try to read the comments so I can uh, be engaged with you guys, but then I drive off the road. It's just like they say, no texting and driving. You shouldn't be reading comments while trying to play a driving game. <laughs> oh, shit. Alright, so I'm going to bring this load up first all the way up to here because uh, there's one of my favorite trails ever to do up through there and then I'm going to bring a second load all the way back to the rock arch so I can do those features and uh, yeah, have some fun with some scouts we got the crazy MK 6x6 and then the brand new GWC G1 Hummer H1 And I'm driving the IV K100 or KA100 or whatever it is from uh, the IX record creator. Woo, having some trouble getting up the hill here. I guess it is a heavy load. It is much more of a vanilla tuned vehicle. It does not have super OP options. It has a very powerful engine, but it does not have OP tires. Um, it isn't like a super crazy OP truck, kind of not like the IX Wrecker or anything like that. It is tuned to be much more of a base game style vehicle. And it uses almost no RAM so whatsoever. So it's a great addition to add to your console mod fleet to always have just a cool a cool cab over as an option.
go. Up to the top of the hill. There's the APC at the rock arch. I'm going to bring these all the way back up to the top of the hill. And then I'll uh, come back, I'll do the rock arch, and then I'll do the technical climbing with these two scouts uh, in due time. I guess I probably show, chose a different truck to do this part of the journey, but it'll be interesting to see how much it struggles with this load. It's a good challenge for it, I suppose. Got a little sketchy right there. I'm just trying to be too reckless and get this done quickly. Uh, this cab over does have an interior. <clears throat> it's a very well detailed interior too, like all kinds of knobs. It's got the full uh, padded bed and everything. It's a pretty sweet interior. I like it. Got my walrus over there, my weed. Always have my weed air freshener. Yeah, it's a sweet little interior. And I, uh, uh, it's got the glass roof too, so you can see it uh, in the top there. You can see it has the bunk beds. So it's got two beds in there. But for a vanilla style vehicle, like it's an awesome cab over. It's not super overpowered. And uh, it uses almost no RAM whatsoever. So you can have this activated with almost any different set of vehicle that you try and do for vehicle mods. It's become a go-to for me, my fleet. It's activated with almost everything, just like that 6x6 APC. Like, they use almost no RAM, so they just can be activated with so many different combinations of mods.
Getting up here, just around this next corner, and we'll we'll be at the top here. If memory serves correctly. Yep. There we go. Home stretch. Got a watchtower right here. Yeah, I'm a big fan of this cab over so far. I use it all the time. One of the longest friggin' pan throughs <coughs> of a watchtower. Oh, and the watchtower doesn't d function. <laughs> oh well. Yeah, so the IV. So it's the IV K100A. That's the name of the truck I'm in currently. The cab over pulling the trailer. But I was bringing these scouts up here specifically for the purpose of doing a trail ride in a little bit. Um, I'm going to do one more load of vehicles to the rock arch so I can do that. And then I'm going to come back up here and do this trail climb. Right here to the left. Right at this house is the trailhead for one of the most fun trails, in my opinion, personally, on this map. We'll leave this here for now. And I'm going to jump into another truck and bring another load again, like I said, to the rock arch. Let's use the rolling coal GWC hybrid electric these hybrid electric uh pack vehicles are so much fun. I really do love them. So a cool feature with these ones is they have uh, LED lights that can go all around the vehicle. So at night, it has color features, which is just a nice little touch. So I set it up to be green on the grill and then purple all the way around the cab. But they have different color options. You can do blue, red, really any color 
it's, it's a fun way to customize a vehicle and make it your own. But this is from the hybrid electric pack, but it is, uh, as you can tell, um, more of a true hybrid where it has a diesel engine. And it is the rolling coal edition, so it blows the most smoke that you'll ever see out of the back of it. It's unreal. bring this and a Hummer. I thought the trailer would be long enough for all three. Oh yeah, I forgot the... <laughs> This ha does have an option for a side uh, exhaust, which I think I'm gonna take that off. I'm not a, I'm not a fan of that. But I, I had just equipped it when I was doing a, just an example post showing the different uh, setups that you can do with this truck. Where's the exhaust? There it is. Take that off. I'm, wait, I'm even gonna take off the roof rack. Let's just go with that. Alright, do I have the upgraded engine? Just to make sure. Okay, cool. This thing is so fast, fully upgraded. 
with the highway gearbox, it's friggin' so silly. Whoa! <laughs> so fast. Yeah, it definitely earned its name as the Rolling Coal Edition. I mean, really, like, well, let's go out to third person view. <laughs> it just. So silly. And the side roll uh, exhaust on it makes it look so funny when it's uh, just blocking your entire field of view from the sides and you can't see where you're going. It's hilarious. Yeah, let's uh, climb the rock arch here. Hey Ian, what's going on my friend? Thanks for joining in the chat. Sorry I was focused there. I hadn't seen uh, the chat in a minute there. Thanks for joining in, dude. Hope you're doing well. Hey there, doggo. This is on PS4. I'm currently playing on PS4. I'm on my PS4 Pro. Yeah, how much? How, what do you mean, how much? Uh, to buy in the in-game store, um, I can check for you real quick. Truck store. Uh, Twenty-nine thousand five hundred. So it's not bad. And when you buy it, it's completely stock like that. It has a few engine options, uh, three engine options. I have mine that I was currently driving fully upgraded. Um, it has normal ride height, lifted, and then this weird droop flex suspension, which I haven't tried out yet. And then uh, a few more other options. 
Um, it has the rear roof options to be slanted or like a full cab like I'm driving currently and yeah. It's a brand new console mod on PS4. But I'm up here right near the first single rock arch just north of the garage on TMV trails. Jump back into the vehicle I was driving. Yeah, I'm going to try and drive up and over that uh, rock arch there that goes over the waterfall. So here we are. This is kind of the entry point for the rock arch. Such a fun trail just to get to it. And then truly one of the most fun experiences as far as climbing in uh, SnowRunner as a whole. Definitely on this map. Um, but first time ever playing this map with my buddy, he took me up and over this, and I'll never forget it. And I always end up coming back to it just because it's so much fun. If you were watching earlier in the stream, about far, probably a half hour, 40 minutes ago, I did this on another section of the map where there's a double rock arch. And uh, I climbed up and over that one. And then now I'm over here doing this one. but it really makes you think about every single move you make because it's such a drop off on each side. Let's go. And then you get rewarded with basically the best view on the map, or one of. Ah, oh, so much fun. Like making my palm sweat just trying to make it over this without messing it up. Ah, oh, I messed it up. Doom, doom. Oh. Well, we, that just means we have to try it again. And that's exactly why I brought two vehicles out here. That's why in single player you gotta do your own buddy system instead of relying on it in co-op. <laughs> you gotta have extra vehicles of your own to be able to get yourself out of sticky situations. Yeah, this is a CCM mod, the KJ68. Very fun scout mod. Um, unfortunately, I only have the stock engine in it um, because of the level restriction and not being able to have a high enough level on my uh, account here on this game save for this map, for whatever reason, is level 1, so I only have the base engine in it, but it's still a very capable little scout. Just love the look of it. Such a mean-looking little military-style jeep.
No, no. I was trying not to do that. Now I rolled both of them. Shit. I was trying to take the fun way down. <laughs> Ah, oh, crap. I was really trying to be smart about that. Ooh, that looks like it gets real deep real fast. There we go. That's the way I should have gone the first time, but can't help myself. What? Why I switch into that one? Wanted to try and get this big bitch up in there, but it didn't fit.
Spider winch, spider winch. Oh, spider winch. <laughs> Gotta love the spider winch, man. Hey, Daz Rock, thanks for joining in the stream. Yeah, if you haven't seen it before, it's SnowRunner. Off-road, open-world gaming. At its best. Let's try take two with climbing the rock arch. See if I can do it this time without messing it up. That was weird how it crawled up the left side like that. That was weird. Whoa. Well, apparently that just wasn't meant to be. That's twice fallen off it now, so let's just switch it up and uh, go to a different section of the map. <laughs> Absolutely beat the crap out of this thing. I want to do this trail before I close out the stream, so we'll do this real quick and then uh, we'll go from there. So up at the north part of the map here is legitimately one of my most favorite trails on the entire map. It's a great way to test out the vehicles that you have and see what they're capable of doing. So I got the crazy MK63 up here. I got the Hummer H1. The GWC G1, to be specific. And let's see what the GWC G1 can do on this trail that runs basically down the entire center ridge line of the map back to the rock arch I was just going past and then out to a crown plateau here looks out over the center of the map you can see how this trail just kind of follows this ridge line all the way across
and getting through it with no issue whatsoever. The overpowered grip on these tires really shows in set, uh, areas like that because uh, normal base game trucks get absolutely eaten alive in the quicksand that is that mud hole right there. And this thing's just taking its time, just walking right through everything. So it is a bit overpowered of a scout, but in a good way. Not not super overpowered. Like I like just having an overpowered grip to a point. Like I don't like it if it makes the game too easy, but it's definitely a lot of fun. And that's what really matters. There we go. Nice, now we're out onto the actual fun part of the trail. That's kind of just a precursor warm up. And now we're out onto the actual real open technical parts of the trail. So gonna just try and not roll over. Oh, this section right here, just dropping in over this little rock. More often than not, I almost always flip it or roll over. So let's hope that it is, uh, has enough stability to make it down without rolling over. Ah, oh, such a weird, such a weird drop in. I mean, technically I didn't roll over, but that wasn't very realistic. <laughs> but honestly, not much in this game really is as realistic as a lot of us like to think. Like, the speeds we're going over through all this terrain, like, I'd be going significantly slower if it was real life, but that's the beauty of it being, being a video game. You get to be a lot more reckless and take all the chances you normally would love to take, but don't get to.
<laughs> oh god. <coughs> oh god. Oh god. Ooh. That one worked. That one worked. Not really sure what happened there, but I'll take it. A little bit of spider winch never hurt nobody. It only saves you. centered <laughs> uh, uh. Now you can see the rolling coal uh, hybrid electric vehicle down there on the left with the trailer behind it. Right, we're right above the rock arch now that I was trying to climb over earlier. You can see the APC all the way down on the sand bed. They look tiny from all the way up here. Up in the clouds. There we go, almost to the finish line. You can finally see the plateau right down there. sketchy there. I didn't read that angle right at all. 
I just drove into that like an idiot. There we go. Ah, such a fun climb. And then you get rewarded with just a great little view. So nice to be able to say we actually have a Hummer H1 on consoles for SnowRunner. Well, that escalated quickly. <laughs> I looked at the chat for one second. <laughs> oh, man. That was hilarious. Let's try this silly thing out. I haven't really driven it yet. The crazy MK63. Literally the name of it. I believe this is the mod creator's first mod, so well done on them. Cool to have a 6x6 Mercedes, quote unquote. debadged and everything. This thing is squirrely.
this thing is just crazy. The long wheelbase makes it susceptible to rolling over a little bit too easy, but it has so much power, the tall ride height. Hey there, this uh, game is SnowRunner, their birthday, best day, every... This thing is actually pretty damn capable. I'm not, I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little bit impressed. <laughs> Fun rig. Alright, well, that's where I'm gonna call it. Uh, thanks for hanging out. If you guys enjoyed the stream, please drop a like and subscribe if you've not done so already. And uh, I'll catch you guys around. Definitely go check out these console mods, the GWC G1. And I was just driving the crazy MK63. Look forward to trying out more in the future. Thank you for hanging out. Have a great day, folks.